One of my biggest regrets from my early days as an entrepreneur is not seeking the help of advisors sooner. Even though I've started seven businesses, some of which reached seven and eight figures, the truth is that my partners and I could not have done it without the guidance of advisors. Once we started working with them, they accelerated our growth by years and ended up saving us millions of dollars. So let's talk about the three biggest ways advisors can impact your business and why you need to seek them out early on. Let's take a study by the UPS store. The study first looked at small businesses that received mentoring and found that 70% of them survived five years or longer. They then looked at small businesses that had not received mentoring and found that only 35% of them survived five years or longer. These numbers don't shock me. I've seen firsthand how advisors help entrepreneurs survive and succeed by helping you avoid the same mistakes they made when they were building their own businesses. Let's make sure we understand who an advisor is as they often get confused with experts. A graphic designer who designs your landing page is an expert. When you need a nicer website that will bring in more leads, you talk to them. Experts are integral to every business. However, they differ from advisors in one important aspect. Advisors are strategic partners who have experience building and growing businesses, while experts usually come in with a specific skill set for a specific problem and don't necessarily have the experience of building businesses. You can think of an advisor like a compass. A compass doesn't tell you which turn to make or how fast to walk, but points you in the right direction. Good advisors, likewise, observe and help you navigate important decisions that would take years to figure out on your own and that could put your whole business at risk if you get them wrong. But if seeking help from advisors is so important, why doesn't everyone do it? There are many reasons. According to a study by Silver Lining, an organization that specializes in creating tools for entrepreneurs, 73% of business owners surveyed don't seek help because of cost and 52% because of lack of time. In my experience, many founders also don't seek help because they're shy or they have a big ego and an unreasonable sense of self-reliance that make it difficult to admit the need for help. This probably applies more to male founders than female ones though. Ask me how I know. But to understand the three most important reasons you should work with an advisor, let's look at one of my businesses which I started in Dubai. 10 years ago, my business partner and I had a thriving seven-figure business here in the US. A friend of mine reached out with an idea to build a sister company out of Dubai serving the Middle East region. We knew what services to offer, how to sell, and how to deliver, but we had a major problem. We lacked a general understanding of selling and nurturing leads in that local market, and we hardly had any local connections. Some of our competitors were parachuting their subject matter experts from Europe and the States for short periods, but they were struggling with traction big time. We resolved to enter the market differently by seeking the help of local advisors rather than bringing people from overseas. We ended up working with two local advisors, one with a strategic perspective who understood the local market really well and one who excelled in operations. This combination of local talent, our technical subject matter expertise, and as always, a good amount of hard work was a magical recipe. In a few years, this new company grew into a seven-figure business on its own. Let's now break down the benefits of working with an advisor, starting with their experience. Broadly speaking, advisors bring different types of experiences to the table, like technical know-how. Technical know-how is niche knowledge or experience in a given domain. It can result from studying or working in a specific field for a certain length of time. In addition to that knowledge, an advisor can give you guidance on important aspects of your business like financial management, growth strategies, and industry trends. Another type of experience founders receive from advisors is non-technical skills and knowledge. These non-technical considerations are as important as technical know-how. For example, you may need help with mustering enough courage to confront a high-profile client who's driving you and your team nuts. Soft skills like public speaking, the art of listening, and time management or compartmentalizing a family problem 
that is affecting your ability to focus at work. Now that we've seen the technical and non-technical knowledge that an advisor brings to the table, let's talk about two even more important advantages of working with an advisor. First, let's consider the connections that an advisor can make for you. When we started our first business, we knew what we wanted to sell and who to sell to, but I had no idea where to start. How do you create a business, set a budget, and take care of taxes along with all the important back office functions? I reached out to a business owner in my network. Let's call him Kyler. He had started his own business a few years prior and was someone I looked up to. Kyler met with us and then connected us with some attorneys and accountants, as well as vendors he trusted for his own back office systems. Kyler's guidance saved us weeks of research and kept us from getting stuck with lackluster or even dishonest vendors. Advisors like Kyler have been in the trenches and have built strong businesses, so they've developed a network they rely on that you can also access. Over the last 20 years of building businesses, I've benefited tremendously from the networks of my advisors, from introductions to key suppliers, to Fortune 500 contacts, to the right brokers for selling my businesses. The third type of resource some advisors can offer you is the most sought after thing by founders. It directly affects your business's survival and success. I'm talking about money. Certain advisors may have sold their own businesses and have access to cash. They probably also have access to other individuals with loads of cash. That's right, your advisors might even offer to invest in your business. When an advisor has equity in your business, things get really exciting. They might introduce you to other investors, co-pitch to them with you, or at a minimum, vouch for you and add to your business's credibility. But most founders look for advisors in all the wrong places, which wastes time, energy, and a lot of money. So watch this video here to discover the number one place I go to find advisors who have helped me build seven and eight figure businesses.